From the White House to a resort on the Las Vegas Strip, which we're guessing as an upgraded room, you're looking at live images of the Vidar Hotel. President Joe Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden spending the night there as they prepare to say goodbye to Nevada's longest serving U.S. Senator. Good evening, everyone. And if the first family's up late, good evening to you. I'm Jim Snyder. <laughs> and I'm Marie Mortera. Harry Reid's funeral takes place tomorrow morning at the Smith Center in downtown Las Vegas. Air Force One touched down at the airport earlier tonight. It's the first time President Biden has visited the airport since it was renamed after the late senator. Multiple state leaders were there to greet the couple, including Governor Steve Sisolak, First Lady Kathy Sisolak, Representatives Dina Titus, Susie Lee, Stephen Horsford, and Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman, all expected to attend to honor Senator Reid's life tomorrow. And we have a former president on the way. Barack Obama will be at the memorial. In fact, he will deliver Reid's eulogy. Uh, you know the story by now that Reid helped to carry Obama's legislative agenda through the Senate and was really instrumental in getting it through to the White House for President Obama to sign. The Affordable Care Act passed as one of those victories. Here's UNLV's Michael Green. You think of what Obama achieved, whatever a person thinks of it, he could not have done it without Reed. We also know in attendance tomorrow will be House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Both of them will speak. Senator Reed died December 28th after a long battle with pancreatic cancer. And News 3 will live stream that memorial service on our website. We're at news3lv.com. We'll have complete coverage.